Broadway.com. It is freezing out. I am Alex Brightman, as Dewey Finn, in School of Rock the Musical, and you are watching Hard Rock Life. Rock on! How's everybody doing? Everyone doing good? It is cold out. We are about to get a huge, huge, huge cold snap coming into New York. So everybody bundle up. I want you all to be safe and healthy so you can come see our show. See how, you know, kind and selfish I am sometimes? So here's the news this week. I'm about to head out right now, uh, take you uh, with me across the street to where we rehearse, um, right near the Winter Garden, because uh, we are going to be rehearsing for our little morning stint on Good Morning America. So follow me. This sign really weirds me out. I don't know what it is. Uh, you know what I think it is? This sounds like an alien came to Earth and is trying to assimilate with us and is using the word person wrong. Absolutely no more than six persons in the elevator. Shouldn't it be people? I know it's not, but it really bugs me. And for some reason I thought that would be compelling enough to put on the blog. This is what happens when I walk in the room. <laughs> Ethan goes completely limp and can't believe that I'm here. He still can't believe he's in a show with Alex Brightman. Bella gets down and prays. She's, you, she gives Alex. me praise. There are lots of reverence here for the Alex Brightman. Thank you. Uh, no, no pictures, please. No pictures, please. I'm not sure what Carly's doing. I'm not sure. Oh, lots of pictures. Lots of pictures being taken. This is like pictureception, like inception for pictures. In a word, how are we today? Amazing. Amazing. Be beautiful. Fabulous. <laughs> Perfect. Good. <laughs> We're currently in the middle of rehearsal right now for Good Morning America. Very exciting. Good question. Great question. Hello, Evie. Hi. What did we just do today? Uh, we rehearsed for Good Morning America. And how do you feel about it? I feel great. What does your shirt mean? I have a theory. Oh, I see. My shirt's it's wrong. a joke about the scientific method. My Evie shirt. Dolan. It's not a joke. Oh, not a joke. This is Jersey's most traumatic look. Go. Dun, 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 dun. Good morning. It is 4:47 a.m. and I am up, showered, and half warmed up because we, the cast of School of Rock, are going to be on Good Morning America. So, as you'll hear me say in a couple hours, good morning, America. This is what New York City looks like at 4.40 in the morning. Uh, not much going on, although there is still traffic, still cars, truly the city that never sleeps. And then a murdered Christmas tree. Uh, got my water. Just picked up a little deli coffee. Let's see how it is. That is horrible. Let's go to the Good Morning America place. So I'm currently in the car. World, this is Benny. Say hi, Benny. What's up, man? Say hi to Broadway.com. What's up, Broadway.com? Yes, <laughs> Benny is the man. And I, you know, I, I, I think it's early for me, but Benny has been up probably, when, when's the last, when, when, were, when did you get up? Uh, 3.30. Oh my God. <laughs> that is not okay. That, the world isn't even built yet. At 3.30. Is there even roads? Um, well, Benny, thank you very much for picking me up. No problem, man. You are the man. All the way. And uh, let's go to Good Morning America, shall we? Yeah, we're out, man. Let's do it. There it is. Good Morning America. We're coming for you. Look at that. They have the lights set up and everything. We've made it. <laughs> we're at Good Morning America. And they're setting up, getting ready for one heck. Of a uh, of a performance, ladies. It is not even like five thirty. It's way closer to five. How are we feeling? Sad because <laughs> there are no Starbucks open right now. Yeah, there's a Starbucks right right open. Yeah, of course there's a Starbucks open. We're Carly. Can I tell you something? We're in Times Square. Everything is open. Except for. It is the city that never sleeps. Uh, you guys rock, Carly. Carly, I have some horrible news. <laughs> You are not making this tea correctly. 
Car light. You have to open it first. <laughs> oh. I thought you weren't supposed to open it. Carly. Oh, you're oh, Carly, I know it's early, it's too but we early. have to do better. <laughs> As a nation, oh, you guys, my look at look at me. As a nation, we have to do better. This will you take care of Carly for me? Dante, will you take care of Carly? No. Dante, you look like a lion. I am a lion. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Normal, party of one. Normal, party of one. Your table's ready? Not even five in the morning. Oh, it's five in the morning. And he's already chowing down on what looks like a dessert. Apple turnover. Apple turnover. It's going to make your stomach turn over. I don't know how I'm going to do the show tonight. What do you mean you know how you're going to do the show tonight? I'm 28 years old. How old are you? How old are you? When you don't even know your own. Well, yeah. And I'm going to do the show tonight. I'm up, baby. This is showbiz. Yay! Right, guys? Showbiz. Showbiz. All right, quiet, quiet. It's very early. Very early. It's Joanne Hunter, everybody. Joanne Hunter. As I live and breathe. Wow. Five in the morning. Looking fierce. Meow. Now, the man. He is the one that makes all the rules. No, he is the one that keeps you down. Now, how does that make you feel? Good morning, America. Good morning. Good morning. It's exciting. It is exciting. I'm very tired, but now I'm like less tired now because we did a little warm up. We did a sound check, camera blocking rehearsal, and then coming up just like in an hour. Exactly. The real thing. With a surprise. With a big surprise. So, this is an original costume from the closing cast of Cats the Musical, written by some up and coming composer you've never heard of. Yeah. And this is Gail. Hi! Gail, who did you play in the closing cast of Cats? I was Demeter. Yes, and, and you're here at Good Morning America today for some reason. What, I am. What's, Crazy what's going thing, on? 15 years later. So, what are you about to tell the world I'm, in about a couple hours? I'm about to tell the world about the revival of Cats! The revival of Cats. You heard it here, I heard it here. You're going to hear this on <laughs> Wednesday, so this, new, this will be old news by then. Well, high five to the yeah. revival of Cats. Meow. Good morning, America. You're about to get rocked. School of rocked. Well, we did it. We performed live on Good Morning America. We crushed it, I think. I haven't seen it yet, but it felt good. Uh, and now I'm gonna go take a nap. Bye. Good morning. It's early. Um, I woke up extra early because I couldn't sleep for some reason. Uh, I think it's because it's cold and my uh, I have an ankle injury that now can predict the weather, like an old man. So I woke up early and I thought, uh, I have a couple hours uh, before I have to start my day. So I thought I would rush to the Winter Garden, which I also use, a uh, little known fact, as a little office uh, for my writing. I think uh, one thing a lot of people know, or maybe don't know, is that on top of doing uh, some shows and acting in them, uh, for the last uh, couple or few years, I've been writing shows um, and have been lucky enough to have a couple of them produced, which is an unreal feeling, uh, and I highly suggest doing it if you're a writer. Get your stuff produced. Uh, or self-produce it. It doesn't take that much to get a couple friends uh, in a room to read the words you wrote. Uh, so I decided to uh, get to the theater a little early with my trusty handy dandy MacBook and my trusty always good triple grande latte, extra hot, one small pump of cinnamon dolce syrup. It's my indulgence. I get it every day. Uh, and I thought I would do a little bit of writing. So I'm going to go do that. Uh, and then I'll talk about some of the projects I'm working on uh, maybe in uh, future episodes. And who knows, maybe you will be in one of them with any luck. Oh my God. This is BroadwayCon, uh, and hi. there are a lot more people here than I thought there were going to be. Broadway.com. It's BroadwayCon. Also, by the way, this is Leslie Margarita. 
Did you guys ever, do you guys know who that is? No. Oh wait, we're starting, we're starting. Okay, we're, we're starting. Okay. This is Broadway Con. I'm filming for Broadway.com, so this is... Are you kidding me with this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rob. Too many people are watching Rob. this right now. <laughs> That's young Rob McClure. That's yeah. old Rob McClure. <laughs> So I'm walking back from BroadwayCon. It was excellent. I wish I could have spent more time there. Uh, I took, I didn't take that much footage because um, I had to run to my show. But they were uh, gracious enough to have me do one panel uh, where they showed a clip of me from my old days in San Jose, California, and showed a clip of me doing Little Shop of Horrors. Uh, and uh, then they had people guess who I was, and then I came out and answered a couple questions. So uh, now I'm heading to the show for a Friday night sold out crowd. Bye. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Broadway.com. It is uh, Sunday, January uh, 24th, and we have survived the blizzard that is known as Jonas. We didn't have any shows yesterday, um, which was crazy. Weird that we had a snow day. Uh, and I apologize on behalf of everybody in the theater community for those of you who had tickets to the show and weren't able to come see it. Uh, you know, Things happen, and uh, we are back today, thankfully. I uh, hope people will be braving the uh, post-blizzard uh, stuff to come out and see our matinee, because we're all going to be here, rocking and rolling. And uh, we'll see. I don't know, I had a really fun day yesterday. I ate a bunch of hot dogs, uh, I had some chips, I had some popcorn, I watched a lot of Homeland. Uh, what else? Nothing. I kind of relaxed, which was kind of cool. Uh, but again, you know, things happen, and now... Starting today, January 24th, the show must go on. Screw you, Blizzard. And in other news, uh, I am go about to go to rehearsal right now uh, across the street to rehearse You're in the Band because we're going to be performing it this week on The View. Cannot wait to meet all those lovely, lovely, very chatty ladies on The View. I hope to gab with them about all things, you know, I don't know. I, don't, I'm not, I haven't really, to be quite honest, I, I don't really watch the show that often. But I, I know that um, we're going to have a great time. We're going to rock the house. And uh, hopefully I can get a picture with uh, Whoopi Goldberg. That's my goal. All right. I'll bring the camera with me. So you're coming along to Broadway.com. All right? Let's do this. And now, Deep Thoughts with Sierra Bogus. School's in session. That was Deep Thoughts with Sierra Bogus. Well, that's it for this week. Please. Join us next time when I regain my hearing. For now, I'm Alex Brightman as Dewey Finn in School of Rock the Wait, Musical. Don't and this is Hard Rock Life. Rock on. Sierra, you're scaring me. I need this to do my eye makeup. Oh, Alex, stop it. Okay, sorry. Hard rock life. Save it for the stage. All right.